the leftist mentality always ends up like this. They throw the first punch, and then they play the victim when you respond. It happens every single time. They throw the first punch, and then you respond, and then they play the victim, and you're the bad person for responding to them every single time. This is how that mentality goes. In this specific case, we're talking about another YouTuber named Vito. Vito has a big channel. Vito has over 200,000 subscribers. And congratulations to Vito. He's earned that through making some really good videos and having some really good content. I've watched his content. His Last Jedi and his Rise of Skywalker videos are great. And they had a ton of views. Rightfully so. He earned those subscribers. And... For some reason, Vito is very, very jealous. He's very jealous of Friday Night Tights. And we're seeing that a lot. There's a lot of jealousy about Friday Night Tights. And I think that is just hilarious because Friday Night Tights has become such a big show. And people that just aren't part of it on a regular basis now are very mad that it's getting so much attention. And I don't really understand that mentality, but whatever, it comes with the territory. But when we had Alex Jones on, suddenly Vito decides he's going to flag the stream by tagging Team YouTube on Twitter, which everyone knows is one of the best ways to get YouTube's attention by tagging Team YouTube on Twitter. Plus, they responded to him. So Vito false flagged our stream because Alex Jones was on it. Nobody was mentioning Vito. No one was bringing him up. This was all about having Alex Jones on a stream. And Vito decides to put himself into the equation. And now, because people are responding to him, he wants to play the victim. It's the typical leftist mentality every single time. It's the reason a meme like this was created. Opinions, throwing them. Then opinions get thrown back and suddenly you're the victim because you decide to go after people and then they respond. Typical jealous lefty behavior. So here now is Vito crying because I did a stream last night over on Geeks and Gamers and I had Nick Riccata on there. We had Nerdrotix. Ryan Kennel was there. Uh, Rippo was going to join us, but he joined us later over on Twitch. Um, we had a great night. We had a great night indeed. And I was very happy with the stream. I was very thankful that everyone showed up. And we talked about Vito and how Nick Riccata destroyed Vito on the Dick Masterson show because he absolutely did. And then Vito decides he's going to tweet this out. Well, he tweets it out. I successfully triggered the Geeks and Gamers loser so hard that they are now devoting live streams to screaming about me. They even included the 10-year-old picture of the SJW woman with red eyes to remind us that their shtick is ancient and stale. I am the new Brie Larson. Hail me. Except after I respond, Vito nukes his entire Twitter account. Because this is what they do. They throw all of these baseless accusations out there. They're not used to being held accountable for their baseless accusations. And then when the people they are accusing the very thing of respond, they run and they hide. We see this every single time from these leftists. Every single time. It is how they operate. They are lifelong victims. They are professional victims. They cannot actually stand by the things that they say. I have gone on these people's streams in the past and they completely back down the moment I show up. They completely back down. They want to be friends. They want to try to come on Geeks and Gamers afterwards. These people are pathetic because they have no ambition of their own. They can't build anything on their own or in fact they have built something but yet something else is taking off and they feel like they're not part of it so they need to attack it because again Vito has a big channel he's done great things I can't get six seven million views on a video like he has am I jealous because his Star Wars stuff got millions of views no not at all why would I be jealous that's great. Congratulations to you. I've made a ton of Star Wars content. None of my stuff has even come remotely close to getting the views that his stuff got. And that's totally okay. Yet because Friday Night Tights is a big show, all of a sudden, so many people are jealous about it. And again, I love that. I love that mentality. I love that you're jealous 
of something that we are doing. Yet, I'm not jealous of anything you've done. I'm very happy that you have been successful and done the things you've done. But this absolute disgusting behavior of flagging and trying to get someone's channel taken down because of an opinion you don't like is disgusting. But it's even more hilarious when you say these things and then I respond and now you've nuked your entire Twitter. It's just so funny. Leftist mentality. You are going to be to a point where you are going to be just like another false lagger where you spend all of your time punching up to anyone that will acknowledge your existence because that's where others are. They do nothing but punch up to anyone hoping to get a response out of them. And it, I love it. I love it. It's so pathetic. This is where you are. And these same people will run from you the moment you confront them because that is the leftist mentality. But at the end of the day, Vito has a big channel. I want to see Vito continue to make good content on his channel. He's made good content in the past, and he should continue to do so. And if he continues to make good content, his channel will grow. It's not that complicated. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. But when you spend time being jealous of other people, then you're not going to do anything. I'm happy when I see people's channels grow. I don't know why everyone else is so jealous. Look at Gary. His channel is crushing it. His live streams crush it. It is beautiful to watch. Why is anyone upset that Gary is growing? If he's growing, that means you can grow. Use it as motivation. Learn from him. Look what he's doing. Other people did that. Gary learned how to do it from me. And now he surpassed Geeks and Gamers. He's killing it. It's amazing. So maybe, maybe put that energy into something better than just being jealous because you aren't part of something. It's pathetic. But continue to run and hide because that's the leftist mentality. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Uh, this is a channel I'm going to be focusing on. Uh, Geeks and Gamers is killing it. I mean, the main channel is something I focused on for years, and now I've really backed off of that for a while. Sports Wars is over there kicking ass. This channel is doing awesome. Our Twitch channel is doing great. Our Gaming with Geeks channel, our Epic Game Clips, Park Hopping, all of it's rocking and rolling, and that's because of you. So thank you guys. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.